Good afternoon and welcome to the draw for the first round of the Scottish Cup 2022-23. After an exciting preliminary round at the weekend, it's time to take the next step on the Scottish Cup journey. And I'm delighted to say we've got a man who is no stranger to Scottish sporting success to help us with the draw this afternoon in swimmer Ross Murdoch. Ross, how are you? Thank you very much for having me. Aye, it's all good. It's good I'm to, happy see to be you. here. Absolutely. After a successful Commonwealth Games, of course, what was that like? Uh, it was amazing to compete for Scotland again. You know, it's something that's quite rare for us swimmers. So, yeah, absolute honour to wear the badge for a third time. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, congratulations again. Uh, what about this draw this afternoon? Have you got any teams that you're keeping an eye on? I've got my eye, my eye on the uh, University of Stirling. You know, I'm hoping to get a uh, Weagles get us a good draw. <laughs> He's hoping for an away tie, I think. He's running his own supporters bus. Uh, he was just telling us, let's take a look at the teams that are going to be involved. 60 numbered balls in the hat this afternoon, of course, leading to 30 ties. In alphabetical order, as you can see from number one, Auchin Lech Talbot. So many famous Scottish Cup days in recent years, all the way down. For instance, number 15, Clyde Bank. What a run they had last season. Darvel, the West of Scotland Football League champions. Uh, Devran Vale from the Highland League, Drum Chapel United are in uh, the hat at this stage. Linlithgow Rose, what a victory they had at the weekend to get through to the first round. And all the way down to number 60, our most northerly team in the hat, which is Wick Academy. So, without further ado, I think we'll get Ross to start this afternoon's draw, please. <laughs> Thirty-four. First out is number thirty-four, Gretna, two thousand and eight. The team from Radial Park. Twenty-eight. They will play number twenty-eight, Edinburgh University. A Lowland League clash, that one. Seventeen. Number seventeen is Cumbernauld Colts. So this one played at Broadwood. Nineteen. Heading there will be number nineteen, Dalbiti Star, bottom of the Lowland League at the moment. Thirty-eight. Number thirty-eight, Genefield Swifts, near neighbours of recent winners, St Johnston. Number six. And heading to Perth is number six, Brecon City, top of the Highland League at the moment. 44. Next up then is number 44, Musselburgh Athletic, edged past Pennycook to get to the stage. 47. And they will welcome number 47, Newton Grange Star, the team from the east of Scotland, first division. 30. Number 30 is Forest Mechanics, sixth in the Highland League at the moment. 33. And number 33, Glasgow University, a tough exit to Broomhill last season. 32. Number 32 is Gala Ferry Dean Rovers, the team from Netherdale. 52. Playing number 52, Socky Juniors, a 4 2 win against St Andrews United at the weekend. 39. Number 39 is Keith, come in to this one on the back of a narrow win at the weekend. 18. Playing number 18, Cumnock Juniors. They received a bye into today's draw after the withdrawal of Tower Hearts. 55. Number 55 is Syngenta, playing in the Scottish Cup for the very first time this season. 1. Playing number 1, Auchinleck Talbot got as far as the 5th round back in 2019. 3. Number 3 is Ben Burb, play their home games not too far from Ibrook Stadium. 24. 
And heading there will be number 24, Dundonald Bluebell, who saw off Tayport 3-1 at the weekend. <laughs> Number two. Number two is Banks O'Dee. Got to the fourth round and beaten by Wraith Rovers last season. Fifty seven. Number fifty seven is Turf United. This year marks ten years since their debut in the Scottish Cup. Fifty one. Number 51 is Rutherglen Glencairn, Orkill winning Rangers. They'll have to do it again after a two-all draw at the weekend. 56. Number 56 is Trinent Juniors, the Lowland League newcomers. 54. Next up, number 54, Strathsby Thistle, bottom of the Highland League as things stand. 11. And they will play number 11, Camelon Juniors, beat Whitehill Welfare 4 1 in the preliminary round. 20. Next up then is number 20, Darvel, winners of last season's West of Scotland League. 58. Number 58 is Tynecastle, the team from the capital. 29. Number 29 is for Martin United, knocked out in the third round by Motherwell last season. 27. Number 27 is East Stirlingshire, got past Fort William in this round last year. Number 12. Number 12 is Carnoustie Panmuir or Hoyk Royal Albert. That was a one all draw at the weekend. 50. And number 50, Rothis, mid table in the Highland League as things stand. 60. Next out then, number 60, Wick Academy, the most northerly team in the competition who's making that trip. 41. It's going to be number 41, Lockie United, a 3-1 win against Dalkeith Thistle at the weekend. 13. Number 13 is Civil Service Strollers, got as far as the third round last season. 31. Playing number 31, Fraserburgh, the team from the Highland League. 40. Number 40 is Linlithgow Rose, a 9-0 victory against St Cuthbert Wanderers to get here. 4. Playing number 4, Berwick Rangers, knocked out in the second round last season. 42. Number 42, Lossy Mouth, involved in an eight goal then penalty shootout drama at this stage a couple of seasons ago. 9. Playing number 9, Bucky Thistle, a second round exit against Kilty Hearts last season. 45. Number 45 is Neon County, still without a league win this season. 22. Playing number 22, Drumchapel United, who won Cup Winner's Shield last season. 16. Number 16 is Cowden Beath, relegated from the SPFL last season, of course. Number five. And heading there is number five, Bonus United, who got to the second round last season before losing to Edinburgh City. 49. Number 49 is Pollock, who put six past Girvan at the weekend. 
35. And number 35 is Huntley, a second round exit to Stenhouse Muir last year. 23. Number 23 is Dunbar United, who beat Vale of Leith in 2 0 to get here. 14. Heading there, number 14, Clark McCudden, who couldn't get beyond this stage last season. 25. Number 25 is Dunny Pace, the biggest winners in the preliminary round with a 12 0 victory. And number eight. They will play number eight, Broxburn Athletic. Made it as far as the fourth round back in 2020. Number 10. Number 10 is Caledonian Braves. Play their home games in Strathclyde Park. 46. Playing number 46, Newton Stewart, the men from Dumfries and Galloway. Twenty-one. Number twenty-one is Devon Vale. Experienced penalty shootout heartbreak last season. Twenty-six. Playing twenty-six East Kilbride. Good start for them, top of the Lowland League at the moment. Fifteen. Number fifteen is Clyde Bank. Had that wonderful cup run last season before losing to Annan. 53. They will play number 53, Spartans, mid-table in the Lowland League as things stand. 37. Number 37 is Irvine Meadow or Hill of Beath Hawthorne. They'll have to go again after a one-all draw at the weekend. 36. Number 36 is Inverurie Local Works, who went out at this stage last season. 48. Number 48 is Open Goal Broom Hill, managed by Simon Ferry. 47. Number seven. They will host number seven, Brora Rangers. Had that famous victory against Hearts not so long ago. 59. 59, it's your team, Ross University of Stirling. You've got them a home tie. Um, 43. Playing against number 43, Lothian Thistle, Hutchison Vale, who got as far as the third round last season. We made it 60 teams coming out. Thank you very much to Ross. These ties have to be played on Saturday, the 17th of September. Some absolutely cracking ties uh, to look forward to. So thanks once again to Ross for helping us this afternoon. Let's see if we can take a look at some of the ties that you've got to look forward to. Right from the off, a Lowland League clash, Gretna up against Edinburgh University. Cumnock Juniors got that bye, didn't they, into this round. Uh, they will travel to Keith Banks of D. What a run they had last season. And they will play Turriff United at home. Still some ties to be settled, of course. Rutherglen, Glencairn, Orkle winning Rangers to take on Lowland League new boys. Trenent, similar story. Carnoustie, uh, Ohoic, Royal Albert, Nairn County. Another home tie for them uh, at home to Drumchapel. United, Cowden Beath not enjoying life in the Lowland League yet. Maybe a cup run kicking off against Bowness and all the way down. We had to wait right till the end for Ross to draw his team. I think he was worried that they weren't in there. <laughs> University of Stirling against Lothian Thistle, Hutchison Vale. So thanks once again uh, to Ross. That does conclude the draw. Make sure you follow at Scottish Cup on Twitter to keep across all the news and features from this year's competition. And of course, to keep an eye on the results when these games are played, all that's left for us to do is wish everyone involved good luck.